Hey there, so today we have another review. I'm really excited for this one. This is Stone Enjoy By. It's been quite a while since we've been able to find someone fresh. Uh, it seems like whenever they come, it doesn't seem to hit total wine. And then, like, I never get time to find stores that have it. Um, Enjoy By, wow. I remember. Oh, wait. oh, sorry. This is a cool one. Enjoy By Hazy IPA. Crazy, 9%. Um, we're about, from the date of me reviewing this, about, jeez. Boom, boom. Uh, about six, six weeks away? Yeah, about six weeks away, which is pretty good. Six weeks away. Wow. Yeah, this is brewed ideally, like, right before this. I think I picked it up the day of it hitting the store. Yeah, I think so, something like that. So, um, I never tried their hazy IPA on Joy Buy. And guess what? It is not really that hazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is not that pale at all. This beer comes in a really solid, um, medium deep gold color. It actually has a little bit of amber hue to it. Um, I don't know what they did to get this color. It has like a neon, like, orangina kind of thing, or like, not, not orangina, um, uh, orange lollipop, or like orange candy. Orange candies look like this. Beer never looks like this. I don't know how they got it to get this really specific orange hue to it. Because, like, malts generally don't get it so orangey. Is there fruit added? I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't look it up. But it's their hazy version of Enjoy Bot. So really big, long-lasting head. Um, not that hazy. It's, like, medium minus haze at best. Um, yeah. Wow. Really not that ar aromatic. I get a little bit of, like... Orange, a little bit of stone fruit, apricot, a little bit of, like hoppy green character, but like really not very expressive on the nose. Cheers. It's a bitter beer for sure. Solidly bitter. Very bitter. Wow. They call this hazy IPA. Why do they call it hazy IPA? Just make it regular and enjoy that. Um, it's pull back on the malt for sure. Um, it's full on bitterness. This is a very bitter beer. Very drinkable and clean. Nothing about it sells on haze. Um, nothing is fluffiness. It really is just a lean, big double IPA. Uh, hot flavor wise, very diesel-y. Um, a little bit piney. Not too much on food characteristics. Solid bitterness. Bitterness rise. Very bitter. Keeps going. Uh, this really reminds me more of like a uh, Sierra Nevada Torpedo or like a, a Arrogant Pasture where like bitterness is the big thing here. And you're trying to sell it as like a 420 Enjoy by Hazy. And there's nothing hazy about this guy. Um, hazy IPAs in general have way more restrained bitterness. That's very tasty though, we'll say. Nigel, we told you not to hang out on the dinner table. This will sit here with us. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's a little bit of light malt to it, but like really pull back. So they definitely strip back away from malts. Um, I don't really taste much like crisp malt character. Maybe a little bit of like crusty sweetness on this. Um, a little bit of this kind of like uh, sugary character. So maybe there's a little bit of crisp malt. A little bit of that kind of like um, sugar coated pine thing that uh, classic West Coast IPAs do. Um, again, bitterness is so prominent on this guy. The palate, um, definitely not a grapefruit. Full grapefruit, rind. Like, it, this again reminds you of classic IPA. All grapefruit. Just like fruity for days, ripping into it. Pith, peel, oiliness. The juice is bit as well. Um, a little bit of like. Sweet orange character, mandarin orange, tangerine, um, sweet white grapefruit, a little bit of like just regular old um, orange grapefruit, or yeah, pink, pink grapefruit, pink grapefruit, yeah, yeah, they go, pink grapefruit, with that pink grapefruit flavor. So we're on all the pink grapefruits, all the pith, all the rind, all the tangerines, a little bit of ready character, solid bitterness. It's very tasty, I like it, but uh, just doesn't sell hazy for me. Hmm. Diesel, a lot of dankness, a little bit of marijuana in there, 
bitter for days. It almost gets so diesely that it almost comes metallic. Yeah, diesely. Oof, oof. Yeah, I like these beers. Um, I like the complexity. I like the fruitiness. I like it flashback into um, me enjoying like Enjoy Dive when it was like, I forget, 12, 13, 14. I forget. Um, bombers with that like, like um, the label that like sort of like, it wasn't like a sticker, I think. I don't know what it was, but like you feel the label on the bomber. It was very tasty. Um, this is awesome. Uh, highly recommend it. I'm trying to get this posted as fast as for you guys because like I I just I just like this beer. Mm. Mm. That's the other one. It sings a lot like a uh, Bell Top Slim, but like in the best way, like better than the Bell Top Slim. It's more expressive. It's more bitter. It's more unctuous. It's more uh, just more teeth rippingly hoppy and like more. Um, Flavorful and characteristic. I get more complexity from this guy. It comes off a little bit drier. I don't get that, like, whatever the honey does for that beer. Um, it is almost like what I wish Hop Slam was, right? It's like, Hop Slam? Yeah, like, this is Hop Slammy. This is bitter. So, love it. Uh, enjoy by uh, 420 Hazy IPA. Again, liquid sells it better than the hazy part, but this for me gets a solid rating. Um, I definitely wish it was more expressive in the nose, but it's not ready. Let's go celebrating again. This one gets a solid 97. 97. Um, this is killer. This is just what I want from like a lot of more uh, classic-ish IPAs. Obviously, this is not the old school way to make IPA, but they pulled a lot of um, influences from hazy IPA, from old school IPA modernize it where it's like dry bitter complex fruity uh which is a little bit more uh, aromatically intense but 97 cheers later